About six years ago, I built a computer using what was then, a high-end desktop board, a Gigabyte X99 SLI, for the 64-bit version of Windows 10. For the CPU, it was coupled with an Intel 5820K i7, and with 64 gigabytes of memory, using 8x8 gigabyte, 2400 modules, it was a reasonably advanced desktop computer for its time, in late 2015. It was used continuously for six years with occasional additions, disk replacements and an extra NVMe drive. Over that time it had been a very reliable computer, but eventually an 8GB memory module failed, and I started using its replacement, which I had built about a year earlier, which was close to identical. Apart from one memory module failure, everything else worked correctly, so it was a worthwhile investment to restore, as X99 boards can use both Haswell and Broadwell CPUs, and the full range of Intel Xeon E526 series CPUs, in both versions 3 and 4. The case was cleaned, a fresh version of Windows 10, 64-bit was installed, and a Xeon E52697 version 3, replaced the previous i7 that had been used. A 14-core, 28-thread, server CPU, that has a base frequency of 2.6 gig, and a maximum turbo boost at 3.6 gig. It has a 35 megabyte cache and a TDP of 145 watts. As this box is subject to experimentation, it has been fitted with a three fan radiator, with fans set up in push-pull configuration. It struggles to exceed 45 degrees centigrade, when being thrashed on all 14 cores, so the cooling appears to be more than adequate. With the box up and running, we can start testing the performance of the E52697 CPU. While the single core is adequate at 347, the 14 core result of 6082 justifies the use of the Xeon for multi thread processing. The Cinebench 20 result also shows the power of 14 cores that run at 2.9 gig under full load. It is a competitively fast result for a CPU that can be bought for under $200, especially as its original retail price for this server CPU was $2,702. One of the target tasks for this computer is video compression using the highest quality settings in FFmpeg. Note that in both following images, the core temp results have already dropped below their running temperature and CPU frequency. The i7 is clocked at 4 gig, and its running temperature was from high 50s to middle 60s. The duration of 10 minutes 44 seconds is accurate to a boundary of 15 milliseconds. The Xeon ran at 2.9 gig and did not exceed 45 degrees centigrade. The duration of 7 minutes and 8 seconds is also as accurate, and the difference between the i7 and the Xeon is among the reasons why a high core count CPU is justified in this context. It is unfortunate that high-end X99 boards are both hard to get and very expensive, but the quality of X99 boards from China is improving and if you are careful, you can get a decent board for a very reasonable price. This Chinese board is a Huanangji X99 BD4 and in a previous project, Coupled with an E52690 version 3, 12 core Xeon, it has produced a very successful computer that is as fast as a gigabyte board with the same processor. That's all I have for you today. Hope your interest in X99 is successful and you get a decent computer out of it. This video is copyright, Steve Hutchison, December 2021, and all rights are reserved.